Okay, welcome everyone to this deep dive. Hey there. We've got a really fascinating report in front of us today. It suggests a major consumer tech company, one you definitely know, yeah. uh, might be stepping into a completely different world. Yeah, a very different world. Advanced military hardware. Exactly. Our source material today is an article digging into a potential partnership that, well, it seems pretty unexpected. It involves Meta. That Meta? Yeah. Facebook's parent company. That Meta and Andural Industries, and they're reportedly looking at building hardware specifically for the U.S. Army. Okay, so our mission here is to unpack what this report says, pull out the key details, the implications, maybe some of the surprising connections in there. Sounds good. Let's start with who's involved, because this pairing, it feels a bit, well, complicated, doesn't it? given the history. It really does. The article makes a point of mentioning the uh, the past relationship between Meta and Palmer Luckey. The founder of Andural and originally Oculus, which Meta bought. Right. And things didn't exactly end smoothly back then after the Oculus acquisition. So yeah, seeing them potentially working together now, it definitely raises an eyebrow. Absolutely. So if there was friction before, what did the source say is uh, bringing them together now. Mm -hmm. What's the driver for this, let's call it, unlikely reunion? Well, the article doesn't mince words. It points pretty directly to money, wow. specifically the, you know, the big opportunities that come with American military contracts. That seems to be the main incentive here, powerful enough to maybe overlook past issues. OK, money talks. So let's set aside the backstory for a second. Right. What kind of system, what kind of hardware are they reportedly looking to build for the Army? According to the source, the system has a name, Eagle Eye. The Eagle Eye. And it's described as a battlefield augmented reality system, AR for soldiers, basically. Okay, and here's where the article makes a comparison that really uh, grabbed my attention. Yeah. Especially if you know anything about military video games. Oh, yeah. It likens Eagle Eye to the tech in that 2012 game, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, Future Soldier. Right, I remember that, the integrated warfighter system kind of stuff. Exactly. So if you can picture that, the source suggests... That's the kind of ambition we're talking about here. And it wasn't just a gimmick in the game, was it? It was about like shared situational awareness. Soldiers seeing what their squad mates see in real time, highlighting threats. Mm -hmm. Shared line of sight, integrated tools to deal with those threats. The article implies Eagle Eye is aiming for that level of, you know, shared augmented awareness and capability using actual hardware. That's quite a leap from VR games. It is. So what specific capabilities does the source actually mention for Eagle Eye? What's it supposed to do? Okay. The report lists a few things. Uh, drone detection is one. Makes sense. Big issue now. Yeah. Also detection of hidden targets. Enhanced audio collection, so hearing better or maybe pinpointing sound sources on the battlefield. Okay. And then there's uh, maybe the most significant one mentioned, the ability to deploy and use AI-powered weapons systems. Wow. AI-powered weapon systems, that's that's a phrase. It is. Now, the source does note, as you'd expect, that the article doesn't go into the nuts and bolts, the actual mechanisms to help people like do all that. Right, that's pretty typical for military contract stuff, isn't it? Especially at the bidding stage. Exactly. Super sensitive, likely classified down the line. So the focus in the report is really on the stated capabilities and who's involved in potential. Got it. So, speaking of bidding... Is this project actually happening? Is Meta building this right now? No, the article clarifies it's currently a bid. It's not a done deal yet. Okay. Meta is reportedly competing for a specific contract valued at around $100 million to create VR hardware for the U.S. Army. Eagle Eye seems to be their proposed system for that contract. And this must be where teaming up with Endural, despite any past awkwardness with Lucky, yeah. becomes really... Uh, strategically valuable for Meta. That's exactly what the source suggests. It points out that Andrel isn't new to this space. Right. They already make several systems that the U.S. military uses. They have those existing relationships, that track record. So that probably makes a joint Meta Andrel bid look a lot more credible, a lot more attractive to the Army than if Meta tried to go it alone, coming from the consumer side. Precisely. It sort of de-risks it for the Army, potentially. Okay, so it's a $100 million bid. What if they don't win this specific contract? Does the whole thing just disappear? Well, interestingly, the source suggests probably not. Yeah. 
The article states that even if this particular $100 million bid doesn't succeed, the expectation is that the partnership itself between Meta and Andorra will likely continue. So they'll keep developing this kind of military hardware regardless. That seems to be the implication in the report, yeah. The, the assumption being that there will be other buyers, other opportunities down the line. And who does the source see as the most likely eventual customer in? Still the Army. Yeah, the article suggests the U.S. Army remains the most probable end user for whatever they build. Okay, and that $100 million bid, mm -hmm. how significant is that in the grand scheme of things? Well, it sounds like a lot, and it is, but the source provides some important context. It notes the Army is reportedly spending something like uh, $22 billion overall on its wider Army wearables project. $22 billion. Billion, yeah. So when you see that number, this $100 million bid, while obviously substantial, suddenly looks like a, you know, a relatively small part of a much, much bigger investment strategy by the military. Wow. Okay, that definitely reframes it. So let's connect the dots here. We have Meta the social media and VR giant, potentially partnering with Andural, a defense tech company founded by someone Meta had issues with, to bid on army contracts for advanced AR systems, possibly involving AI weapons. Yeah. Why? Why does this specific reported deal matter to you, the listener? I think what makes this so interesting based on the source is that inherent uh, friction. You have this company, Meta, built entirely on connecting people socially, on consumer entertainment, advertising. On your Instagram feed, your Quest headset. Exactly. And now they're potentially involved in building tools that include capabilities described as AI powered weapon systems. It's quite a juxtaposition. It really forces you to think about how these core technologies, AI, AR, sensors, networking, developed often for consumer markets, mm. are increasingly seen as, well, dual use. Totally. The article really highlights this potential um, convergence, consumer te tech expertise potentially being directly applied to build advanced military systems. It sort of blurs lines you might not have thought about much before. Yeah, the line between your game console and the battlefield seems yeah. thinner, maybe? Could be. And that huge $22 billion figure for the Army's overall wearables project, that just underscores how serious this push towards future soldier tech is, regardless of which specific company wins which contract along the way. So this deep dive into the source material, it's not just about one potential contract. Yeah. It's really a glimpse into these bigger trends, isn't it? Tech development, military modernization, the incentives driving it all. Okay, so just to recap the core findings from the report. Meta and Andural are reportedly partnering, bidding on a U.S. Army contract, potentially worth $100 million, for an AR system called Eagle Eye. A system with capabilities said to include things like drone detection, enhanced senses, and even deploying AI-powered weapons. And even if they don't get this specific contract, the source suggests the partnership and the development might continue likely still targeting the army, which is investing billions in this area overall. That's the gist of it. So as you think about all this, here's something to chew on, drawing directly from the implications in the source material. Consider what it means when consumer-focused companies like Meta start developing systems reportedly capable of deploying AI-powered weapons. What does that kind of partnership, that kind of capability, suggest about where the lines might be drawn or erased between civilian technology and military applications in the future? Yeah, that's definitely the big question hanging over this whole report.